back to sensible monkey patching. So the idea is if we can, whenever we want to expand to, to, uh, to make a uh, module or a class include more uh, methods than it does uh, from, the, from the core library, we just need to remember to be explicit with the type signatures uh, sorry, with the with the method signatures and and provide types as needed. This is going to be again very good in terms of uh, making sure we don't have shadowing effects when um, when that's not um, uh, strictly uh, necessary. In the sense that if someone goes and define uh, the same exact method with the same signature somewhere else, then you're going to have some some shadowing effect, some overwrite effect. But in general, you know by just verifying that the method is not defined in the standard library and defining it in your own library in a bit more of a uh, precise way, you know that there's fewer chances of, of having issues. And it can make our code uh, quite a lot nicer. In particular, uh, now that we have redefined our configuration uh, loading mechanism, we might as well just get rid of this URL generator altogether. Because really what this URL generator, uh, generator module is doing is and if we go and look for it, is just reading from the config every now and then, um, and then passing the values uh, to a to a particular string. So what I suggest we do is we actually just focus on what's going on here. So we are taking a configuration config .load .urls, which returns an array of strings, and then we're just passing that into a URL string, just like this. Now, of course, the code I just wrote doesn't make any sense with the given uh, with the given, given methods we have. But what we can do is we can go to our, uh, if you remember, we have a concurrency, uh, sorry, back to concurrency util uh, module. We can make it a module shorter. And what we can do is we can define module enumerable which is just a core component of, of crystal and we can go and define a, a double uh, double arrow method that takes a channel of type channel T so not just any channel but the, the channel type has to match uh, the, the type parameter T of the enumerable and what we'll do is we'll just copy paste the code from from the URL generator. So what was going he on here was we were looking at a bunch of values and back here. So we were spawning and then going like for each, we can just call this on self. I can, I can omit the self. So each value I'm going to call it because it's a bit more general and then we're going to pass the value through to the channel itself. So just like that we define this uh, convenience method for injecting enumerable values into a channel in a separate fiber. So if we go back to URL checker we can probably now get rid of the dependency on URL generator and just try and run our application again. Compilation seems to be going all right. And so, as you can see, just a tiny bit of magic and that comes with a bit of kind of, it makes it very easy to read our code really because we're just typing a set of uh, elements from an array into a stream and that's uh, fairly straightforward. And because we are loading the uh, configuration every time, um, every time, every couple of seconds, what is what still applies is that if we go and remove one of the um, URLs from the configuration, that URL is no longer no longer checked. So as you can see, if I remove crystal lang, uh, crystal line is not going to be queried anymore. And then I can add it back, save again, and from that point on the count the count goes up again. So I'm going to stop our application now and just move to the next bit. So 
We've seen how we can handle our configuration a bit better. We looked at how we can sensibly monkey patch or like expand the um, um, methods of our uh, core library.